Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Marvin Beener. Um, I have been practicing OBGYN for 18 years, um, 15 years of that here in Rapid City, South Dakota. There are, um, there are a number of reasons why I'm going to vote no on Measure 11. Um, first of all, it'll, it, it'll interfere with my ability to provide comprehensive and quality health care to women with complicated pregnancies. And secondly, I see it as a colossal waste of taxpayer money, South Dakota taxpayer money, to defend an unconstitutional bill, to promote the, the agenda of a minority of people um, when we have so many other problems in South Dakota to deal with. Well, it'll have a significant impact um, on on my role as an obstetrician who takes care of high-risk pregnancies, but more so on my patients with complicated pregnancies. Um, this is a, a ban on abortions um, uh, with language that's crafted to allow for um, certain so-called exceptions for health, uh, rape, and incest. Um, but the language of the health exceptions is crafted so that the, the bar is set so high that no physician is going to attempt an abortion for medical reasons. So patients who have cancer in pregnancy, patients who have heart disease in pregnancy, patients whose fetuses have abnormalities that are incompatible with survival would be forced to carry their pregnancy to term. Uh, and I just think this is, um, this is a terrible public policy and no way to practice medicine. Shaded Measure 11 is important to pay attention to because, uh, again, this represents the promotion of an agenda of a distinct minority, um, it will have a very adverse impact on the health care of patients with complicated pregnancies. Um, my patients who have had cancer in pregnancy, patients with heart disease in pregnancy, as well as a number of other significant health risks in pregnancy, um, patients who have babies who's, who have an abnormalities that can't survive outside the womb will have no options under this bill and will be forced to carry their pregnancies to term regardless of the risk to their own health and safety and uh, it just uh, and, and the people of South Dakota need to understand that.